Hello, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. I just want to take a moment to just, you know, give a shout out to Women Tech Network and also to founder Anna, who kind of virtually connected us all together. Who feels virtually connected this, this morning, this week? Uh, we, in the past year, we have been socially disconnected, right? All about, people talk about social distancing and all this good stuff. But this conference is really about virtual connection. So let's just give a big, big shout out to Women Tech Network and Anna who made this possible. Um, I want to know in the comment, do you know what is the F word that we're going to be talking about today? What is the F word? Give me in a chat. What is the F word that we are going to be using today in this session? Oh, you nasty girl. It's not that one. It's a flow. Who's ready to be in the flow? Who's ready to have some fun? And who's ready to be fierce in pursuit of their dreams? Before we start this, I'm going to, you know, really quickly um, talk about my story, my hustler story. Uh, who am I? And also how I developed, you know, uh, a research and came to a conclusion and something that I call a flow framework that you will be able to use to, you know, go from hustle to flow. So who am I? <laughs> uh, the mo most fun fact that I want to share with you is that I have 3C addiction. What is that? Okay, so I love chai, I love chocolate, chocolate, and I love chat. And if you are here today with me, make sure you have all three because we're going to have some cookies, chocolate, chai, and chat. Uh, what do I do? I'm a success and business coach. I have been coaching uh, for full-time for three years now. And I primarily work with female business owners who are there to rapidly launch and scale their businesses um, to six figures and beyond um, by taking aligned and inspired action. Who are my action takers in the house? Give me yes, 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 yes. Um, so we, all, we will talk a lot about action, but also inspired action, right? We don't want to burn out uh, and, you know, be like, oh, well, I'm exhausted. Um, I am really obsessed by my mission to inspire millions of women to be more, to have more without, do, without having to do more. Let's just sit for a while. Be more, have more without having to do more. We are human beings. We are not human doings, okay? So how does this like flow manifester became who she is today, where she really utterly um, enjoys her life and she lives the, the life in a flow. Well, my story three years ago was none of this. You can see like all the achievements. I now work with Mind Valley as a senior ambassador. I'm also ambassador for Women Tech Network. I'm also one of the mentors. I work with Tony Robbins, like freaking Tony Robbins. Can you imagine? But three years ago, my story was far from this. I was burnout. I was almost divorced. My father had a heart attack and, uh, you know, after experiencing mental health issues and also being so caught up into hustle, hustle, hustle and doing, doing, doing like, you know, masculine energy, um, go getter energy, whatever you want to call it. Oh, I came to a place where um, I was pregnant with my fourth child. And I was so mentally ill. That was June 2018. And my husband said, you know, you need to change something because this is not working anymore. I didn't have any result. I didn't have any, anything to show for. I was working, working 16 hours a day. And to point where I couldn't get out of my bed because I was not just physically ill. I, I was like exhausted. My brain was exhausted. And I said, you know what? Um, I can't bring another child to this world. So we did an abortion, which had a significant impact on my life, on my being as a mom, as a, as a, someone who wants to create a change and impact and legacy. At that time, I didn't know what that means, but that had such a, such a big breakthrough and breakdown, if you want. And I said, you know what? Um, I need to change something. That summer 2018, after spending, you know, 15 years being an entrepreneur, I said, you know, I need to change something. This doesn't work anymore. 
on the outside i was very successful on the inside i was dying and i took a break i took a pause and i went where it all has to start my purpose who am i finding back my legacy my mission and why am i on this planet like why seriously have you ever asked yourself why am i born you know the chances for you to be on this planet are 400 trillion by one okay so your chance to be on this planet is like like so tiny micro granular 400 trillion against one think about that um so you know today i am more than that i am a flow manifester i get to impact you know <laughs> hundreds of thousands of women um just you know being in networks like mind valley and tony robbins and all this good stuff and um i really 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 do care about every single soul on this planet that i made impact to so what is hustle i want you to write in the chat what does hustle mean to you what, what, what is hustle? And I did, you know, for my nerdy friends in the house, I did the research, like really extensive research on what is hustle. And, you know, one of my, my like really friends, uh, good friends and female entrepreneurs in my network, I asked them, what is hustle? What is flow? What it takes to achieve your goals? And, you know, all this good stuff. But, you know, to go to demographics so you can see the relatability, we had like, most of the women were 35 and above. You know, we had 53% of 45-54 and 23% of 35. So this is really relevant. These are women who experience life already. And I'm not saying like you millennials, you're you are absolutely crushing it, crushing it. But, you know, like really, these are experienced women. Um, then we also had diversity in ethnicity, like really, really beautiful. Like we had a representation and this is just, you know, it's not just a cultural thing. It's not just because I'm an immigrant kid from uh, Slovenia born to Bosnian parents. This is a really like a cultural, cultural thing, how we women think that success is should should look like um and then we had also like very smart women you know you can see that um the results really came from uh women with bachelor and master degree okay so i asked them what hustle means to you to get things done pressured hamster wheel without specific framework working too hard being busy you know so these were all the things that women said to me um, in this research. Also, action focus, 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 focus. Action is good. Moving fast, being all over the place, feeling exhausted, multitasking, doing it the hard way. You know, me as an immigrant kid, my parents raised me to be, um, to be a hard worker. They always said, daughter, you have to work hard and study hard to, you know, achieve success. Um, then I also asked them, is it hustle really required for you to achieve your goals? And, you know, this was interesting. Half, half said yes or no, or depending, you know, so this was really interesting. And then I asked them, what is flow? <laughs> you know, what is flow? You, you, and uh, let me know in the chat. I want to know, um, what is flow for you? I really want to know. Alignment to be in alignment, doing what I love, without obstacles, ease, smooth, effortless, easy, natural, ease, right? These are the words, being ingenious. I discovered that summer that I need to do my best and outsource the rest. Then I can operate in my genius, doing what I love, speaking, coaching, and really making an impact. When I was working 16 hours, I was working everything. <laughs> I was everything and everyone. Balance without experiencing burnout. Flows also means that you are in your creative state. You know, divine timing, feminine. Feminine is all about receiving. Today we have, we will experience a full new moon. That's all about feminine energy and tapping into your divine ease, right? Smooth, joy, purpose. You see, soul purpose, right? If you know your purpose, let me know in the comment. Do you know your purpose? Why are you on this planet? And after, you know, this flow question, I asked them, 
what does your ideal day look like? And they wrote like, you know, I want to wake up uh, when um, I don't need to have an alarm and blah, 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 and all this good stuff. I only want to do what I love. And then I asked them again, if you imagine your ideal day, does that involve hustle or flow? And 77% said flow. How about that? We all want to live in a flow. So let's get going. I developed throughout the years uh, after experience burnout and, you know, um, really like mental burnout because it's not just the hard work and physical burnout. I was living without a purpose, without intention. That's why I experienced burnout. We talk about burnout as something that is like you can't get up with, from, from, from your bed. It's like mentally, your brain is just a, it's mushy, wishy poop. Um, so I developed this flow framework, mission, action, plan. I'm a big planner, but also you do you. My plan doesn't necessarily work for you. Opportunities. How do we create opportunities by overcoming obstacles? And last but not least, nurturing yourself, nurturing your feminine. And this is by the books, you know, we nerds love to have like, you know, really, um, statements from from the books how to identify your goals well goals are actually intersection of vision and mission and even if you're not a business owner your sole purpose on this planet even if you're a mom a how a homemaker um you you work for someone and you enjoy what you do you still have a mission with it within your identity so it's really about your values and vision is something that you're casting, you're projecting. When I leave this planet Earth in this physical form, yeah, I'm all about who will, what will I leave <laughs> with? Like, you know, what is my legacy? The vision. And then the intersection is goal. So this is something that I want you to do right now. So we're going to go through the map on framework, the flow framework, starting with mission. M. M stands for mission. So I really want you to, even if you're not a business owner, this is, you know, I told you about my mission when I was introducing myself. I coach female entrepreneurs to rapidly launch and scale their online businesses, blah, blah, blah. Be, do, and have whatever they desire. Not doing more, not having more, but being more. Who do I need to be today to bring you this session? I need to be intentional with everything. I need to be focused on you right? So what is your mission? I want you to take a screenshot to this template. And, you know, I want you to, after this session, or when you will have a break, actually jot down and do an IG story, tag myself and Women Tech Network and share with us, what is your mission? We would love to know. I also want you to screenshot this one. And maybe we can also give you some slides at the end. Um, we'll see. But Really, like screenshot this. This is your vision. Create a space, a sacred space. Turn, turn some uh, music, uh, light some candles, and really meditate. In a meditative state where your divine feminine energy is coming through, where you're receiving support from the universe or God or Holy Spirit, whatever you believe in, go and tap into these seven questions because they will create a vision that you can actually you know, feel it because your vision was put in you, in your soul with a purpose. You don't have a dream just because, you don't have a vision just because, it's because someone really knows that this is already available for you. And then you go to goals, right? We start with mission, vision, and then we break it down to goals. How do we break it down in seven steps, you guys? Do we ever ask ourselves, what do I really, 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 really want? No, we say, I don't want this job. I don't want this partner. I don't want to reign, <laughs> you know? I don't want to pay these bills. But in this moment, tell me in the comment, tell me in the comment, what do you really, really, really want? And most important, why do you want this? There's a book that changed really my, my perspective of seeing why. Uh, Simon Sinek has, has this beautiful book, Start With Why. Who, who read the, the Simon Sinek's book, Start With Why? It's really about your why. Because wh when I was burned out and, you know, really not in a good state, I didn't know what's my why. <laughs> I just knew that, you know, I need to work. 
because that's what my my parents bless them told me to do you need to work hard by when you know every goal needs to have a clear date without a date it's only a wish so screenshot this one and also do this exercise taking inspired action instead of like massive action you will hear gary gary vaynerchuk or even like you know whoever take action 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 but it's really important that you do the right action and you know some people will say well i don't know where to start because i'm not confident i don't know how to do this because i don't have the clarity but it really starts with consistency you know do some kind of action based on your goals you know really go clear on how and start small you don't ask a baby when they are starting to walk to stop walking with the, because they once fall on their butt you don't stop them and say hey you can't walk no they are consistent they are taking action and i really want you to to think about the tortoise and the hara story the moral for me is actually the the tortoise she was consistent. Now, who knows the fable, famous fable of a uh, turtle and, and the rabbit? Hara was confident and he started, he went all in with confidence. I'm going to win. Well, it takes consistency. Consistency breeds clarity. Clarity brings confidence. Okay. And then we have P as plan. Remember, M, mission, A, action, P, plan. And I'm going to walk you through three Ps. My favorite three Ps, live on purpose. I found my purpose through tests. Who of you have did, like, did some kind of test? You have JAM test, MBTA, I'm NFJ, ENFJ. Who is ENFJ in the house? I want to know who are my baby Obama, uh, Oprah. Like, let's see who is ENFJ. And also like Strength Finder. Strength Finder really gave me that clarity that my, one of my biggest strengths is activation. Activator. I'm by my core, I'm activator. You know, I love taking action. I'm also visionary. I'm also all about the positivity. I am all about, you know, now, I'm also a little woo-woo, so I need to be in my spirit. I need to be connected with my soul so I don't burn myself in the masculine energy. Be productive. I want to prompt you to one of my Tri Global um, articles that I did a few years back about nine things you need to implement <laughs> to go from like really saying goodbye to busyness. We love to be busy, right? Especially moms in the house. Um, we, we tend to be busy, but it's really about productivity and making sure that you create a plan that works for you, your lifestyle. But these are some of the key things like batch schedule, use Pomodoro, don't multitask because your brain cannot physically multitask. <laughs> Make sure that you find time for power naps and sleep. That's so important. And hydrate. Make sure you stay hydrated. Make profit. What you measure, you can manage. Even if you're not in business, you still want to make sure that your uh, income is bigger than cost, right? Know your numbers always. Like, have a check in with your numbers. If you're in business, get a business coach or a mentor. Obviously, I'm biased, but really, that's that's that will really help you. Opportunities. Like, how do we overcome obstacles? People say, like, yo, yo, but obstacles is hustle. No. Overcoming obstacles and the, the, really like going against your fear or overcoming that fear is opportunity for contribution and opportunity for growth. I am contributing here on this conference. I'm overcoming some big fears, you guys. Maybe this feels effortless, ease, and natural. But you know what, guys? Before I came into the stage, I was like, mm. I have a big nudge, <laughs> um, you know, it's still because I care. I do want to make an impact. And even if one person from this session has one insight, I made my mission. I made my why. I made my purpose. So contribution, always make sure that, that you are contributing. Growth, always seek opportunities for growth, okay? Always. Growth is so important. This is one of our basic needs. If you stagnate, you die. If you don't grow, you don't live. And then last part, nurture. 
create routines. I'm so, so, so non-negotiable about my morning routine. I wake up at seven, 6 a.m. because I know that by 7 a.m. My, my three little girls are already up and running. So I need to be in my state, in my zone, so I can serve them and I be the best mama. Personal growth, invest in yourself always. Find a network that supports your dreams. And words of inspiration by one of my <laughs> Um, inspiration. Um, who knows, Jamie Kern Lina, Lima? Um, make sure that you get Believe It book because this is one of the like such an incredible storytelling books where you know this self-made billionaire, really champion of women, re taught me about this important thing of a why. If other people's opinions can shift your why, it's not powerful enough. Thank you so much for having me here. If you want to connect with me, I would be happy to connect on Instagram. You can also check my website. And you know what? There is a link to, to connect with me also on my website if you want to be part of my Fearless Insider Club. And we will, we will make sure that if you can get these slides as well. So hit me on Instagram and I will we'll be happy to share. Thank you so much. Don't forget to dream big, plan for success, and impact the world. Ciao.